Yo, what is good, y'all? It is Duncan here, back in another video, man. In today's video, we will be talking about what is a person, what is age, and then we're also gonna be talking about. Well, let me think about exactly what it was. It's what is a mental state like? What is what is um, what is mentality? Because. You know, we often think that these mental states are ours. So we're going to explore all these topics right now. And first, we're going to start on the topic of what is a person. So me, you know, Duncan likes to get into it straight and concise, straight to the point. You know, sometimes, he, most of the time, that's what he does. He doesn't usually put no background, you know, like a whole bunch of his background stuff, like other people. That's no, that's no nothing. I'm just telling y'all what it is, you know, when you come in this video. So, what is a person? You know, I was yesterday in class, you know, I think about this, I've been thinking about this a lot recently, but yesterday I was in class and I was, um, you know, we weren't allowed to use our phones because we were taking the final exam for this English class. And I was wondering, so that, that left me with nothing to do but either to read or to, or, or to ponder, to think, you know, to just stare at something and concentrate on it and you know think about you know things higher than this dimension that's what i decided to uh use my time doing so i started to think man what is a like what really is a person you know we've explored this idea before you know we realize it's energies but i also started thinking like there's no such thing really as a person you know we already said this but even further like even further and people really think what makes up a person like when you consider what makes a person their age their personality oh like oh they think a person is supposed to be nice all the time like that we think like the, the masses have an idea of what a person is supposed to be that's what i'm saying like we think that you know people have that people are supposed to have good intentions for us or that you know this life this life is all you know should be all good in this and that and that's what we think a person should be so i'm setting this up so it's like whenever this is before you start getting into a bunch of battles it's like when you start getting into battles or people start like if you're a chosen one or you have a powerful i don't use that chosen one term but if you have a powerful aura then you'll realize that people will start to like single you out and like you'll start to get attacks and you'll, you'll that's what led me more or that's part of what led me to this questioning of what is actually a person so then then i dive, delved into the fact that you know if these are all just energies bro then it can only be either you know the there has to be a base energy for these for these things walking around man so it's either positive neutral or negative but there's not really a neutral in this type of matrix i mean i mean you're either for something or you're against something you can't really be neutral if you're being neutral that's basically saying that you don't really i don't know that's like saying you don't really have an opinion towards something it's like oh we, some people just like let's get make an example people commit a mass genocide for absolutely no reason you're like oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just neutral towards that like bro what what do you mean you feel me so that's what you know people think that oh you know a person's supposed to be social you know they need to be around people they're supposed to be going out to these parties or they, they think like people are supposed to have uh certain experiences at certain ages and supposed to be doing certain things with their lives and this and that but you know all that is just it's like it's it's matrix gabble you know like it's just like part of the game like because and then we're gonna go into the age factor like people think that just because you're older that you a lot of people think just because you're older you know more than somebody that's younger that's what a lot of people that are like from the last generation they try to like tell people oh oh i've been on this earth way longer than you so i know this more than you but when i was thinking about it i started to you know over time i realized like age isn't really like what does age denote all age denotes is that 
you've been on the planet for a certain amount of time it doesn't really because when you know when thinking about this i was like age only denotes experience but it doesn't even denote just experience it only denotes experience on this earth because you know you could be 40 years old but since you never really socialized or anything and you never really went out the house or nothing that you don't really have much social experience as somebody else you know that did so you wouldn't be able to give the same experience talks that the other person did but you might be able to give it on something else right man they got these clouds up man let me see how big this cloud is but anyways um you know that's when you realize like when people say like age, when we're talking about this age and knowledge factor dude there's no su there's no such limit on on knowledge and age bro like there's no oh you can hold this amount of knowledge at this age type shit you feel me like you could be a child prodigy at like an, an a certain instrument at an age that a person who's been practicing that instrument for years can never reach you know why because it doesn't matter about age it's about the information that you receive and and if your vessel you know if you're coded for that see certain people they're coded differently that's why they come down as as these child prodigies and shit bro you know they're coded differently you know there's um this is lines of energies and codes and all that and you know all this math and so like if i if i'm like i'm i'm like you know 17 when i started getting on this knowledge but people are 40 and they can't handle it bro like basically me being tapped into this energy you know all these downloads all this this knowledge i realized like bro i don't have any any age at all like i'm really just an infinite being i'm, I'm a mortal basically but i'm not in this vessel but energetically because i'm not even but i'm not even anything you know i'm just part of the nothing source expression but that's what it makes you think about that age doesn't really denote anything but experience of being on this earth so then we get into the topic of what is a mental state now what is a mental state you know we think that we're governed by these mental states of sadness anger and happiness and all of this and say like for example missing somebody or you desire a certain thing and you're like oh i can't get this off my mind this and that but all a mental state is like i was thinking about this i realized you're not even part of your mental bro you're just observing the mental and like even it took time to come to this conclusion even before with me knowing that you know i'm not the mind i'm not these thoughts i'm not all that but then you realize that you're not even the mental part like you're not even inside of your mental you're just I'm just, I realize I'm just in this vehicle and I'm consciously aware of my mental state. But you don't have to actually be in, in your mental state and influenced by your mental. And that's like people, they ask like, how is your mentality? But a lot of people, they just, because they feel a certain way, now they just, oh, bro, my mental's been trash. When they don't know that they can improve that so easily that's when you, you you get into alchemy you know turning you could go from a, a sad state to excited and happy in a few seconds bro you know how to alchemize correctly and if you're if you have experience with it so it's like say if you get angry you should start if you get angry at something and it's like an impulse like you didn't really it's not much that you should even be angry about you should start looking at that and like tracing it where did this anger even come from or where did this sadness even come from you know where did these feelings even come from and then you realize a lot of it is part of just the human body because the human body has to experience these emotions and and these feelings and a lot of this stuff is influenced by hormones as well the like mental states even so then you start to realize bro that you're really not in the mental at all you're just watching it you're conscious of it so you're not con you're not consciousness you're not your mental state you're not the body we're un we're uncovering these new new spheres every day man 
these new layers. And another thing that I was that you know crossed my mind is uh, what exactly you know what exactly would make a person want to you know harm another person that's not doing anything to them. You know they don't have any reason. They're you know they're not trying to like take anything exactly, but they just have a reason and just inflict harm upon another. You know. I thought about what makes somebody want to do that, you know? And I realized you have to be lacking something. Like there has to be something in you. Like that's like a type of prey energy, bro. If you see somebody and you're like, oh, I can pick on this person. Like I think they're weaker than me. That's like a prey type of energy. So with the prey type, predator and prey type of energy, the predator is hunting for food. So what is this person in this vessel hunting for? Or what is this? energetic collection of dense matter hunting for it. What is this energy lacking that they want? And this energy might be feeling like they lack some sort of power, they, that they lack some sort of status, and they want to get over on another person, or that they, they want to inflict harm upon another person because that's the only way they know how to feel something. Or they, that's the only way they know how to, you know, just feel powerful in a world where they're really not, or, the, or in a world where they're being made feel not powerful by others because people do this shit all the time it's actually crazy i don't understand it it's weird i think it's like some type of i don't know it might be some unconscious shit bro. like some i feel like it is bro it might be some unconscious shit that you you could that you could be aware of but that these people aren't because they don't do no introspection or nothing bro <clears throat> so yeah, man, w what is a mental state? That's the question you got to really, like, ask yourself. And we got to ask ourselves. I think this video is pretty much done. I think I um, got out all I wanted to say. Yeah. See, every time I every time I feel like get on these videos, I low-key get... It's not really imposter syndrome, but I feel like I'm talking about something very simple, bro. It sounds so simple when I talk about it, but whenever you, these are like revelations that I get when I'm, when I'm really, I'm always aligned to source, but when you're in deep alignment, you get downloads at a quicker rate. Or if you're just like, if you're on that vibration of, of thinking on about certain things or you're on the knowledge vibration, then you, then you'll get, I, you know, you'll get downloads and ideas at a quicker rate. But is there anything else I could say? about this pertaining to this topic the energies man the energies they like to look oh, another thing about it they like to look that's the reason bro they're so lacking they they lack like i'm telling y'all man these people don't even exist like they don't even see the world as you do if you when you open your third eye or if you have a pure spirit these people don't see the world the same as we do bro it's not possible like if for you to like see somebody energetically doing great and you're just like on a lo like a much lower scale and you feel like you have to like fuck with their energy to to like you just feel like you have to there's no way you could see the world the same as me you know cuz i be do hoo hoo <laughs> bro i make people that are 30 40 50 years old jealous just by just be just by being me like i don't really be like i don't really be saying oh you know, I'm this and that, or I'm, I'm 18 doing this, you know, I don't even say that stuff out loud, but, like, just me doing me, it just shows in the matrix, I'm making points in space, and those points in space, they're not making it, <laughs> they're not making those same type of points, and it hurts them, bro, it hurts their heart, it hurts their insides, their ego, they're like, fuck, how is this guy so fucking young, and he has way more discipline than me, how is he way fucking smarter than me? How the fuck is this kid beating me in an argument and he's way younger than me? Because he, <laughs> that's the things that these people think when they interact with me. But you know what? That's what it's, that's when you realize that age isn't a thing. Like, I don't I don't know how I don't know if I've been on this earth before. I haven't found out yet. I may not have. I don't even know, bro. I may have may not. But the thing is, I can definitely tell you is I'm older than 300 years old. So, we're going with infinite. Cool. 
And a lot of these things are about energy, man. This whole world runs off of it, you know, alignment, getting the things you want in life when it when it comes to battles, bro. That's why energy work is so important because people could feel me through a screen. Like I could beat It's not just it's not just IQ. IQ intelligence, IQ is one of the most important things in battle, bro. Cuz if if you if you it's like places to run. If you keep if people are they're trying to make places to run by saying things that don't make sense in an argument and you shut that down every time they're not going to have nowhere to go and then they shut down you know they have they have nothing more to say so but if if you have low iq and you're just you're just saying these things that also don't make sense or you just don't know how to shut them down then you're not then you're not you can't win i'm not saying you just need to be out here trying to win arguments bro but i'm saying like battles and like knowledge battles are a real thing. Why do you think they have uh, debate classes and, and judges and and things like these, bro? You, you feel me? So another thing is like about this, you know, this energy and and everything else. You have to realize, like, for. Like, you have to realize that somebody else can, if somebody else can make you feel like you have to realize there's like a certain anxiety feeling that that the human like gets in the body. It's like either in the chest or some people say they feel it in their stomach or it might be even over your whole body, bro. People feel that way sometimes when they get pressed or when somebody's or like, so when they get startled, maybe if somebody's aura walks in the room is powerful, they might get intimidated or they, if, if they have social anxiety, they could get these type of feelings. And when you have a stronger energy field, when you have a stronger aura field, stronger, you know in yourself that your energy can overpower this person. It's like, if you don't believe it, then it's not going to be. So say like you, you, you don't think that your aura is strong enough to beat this person, then they could definitely win. But if you know for a fact that it's stronger, it's going to be impressing upon them from through the screen. Because the screen the screen is not really real, bro. It's, yeah, you can, you can connect to them through the phone. Like, they could feel you through the phone. Because when you send out those words, you're sending an imprint in space. That's your energy imprint on space. That's, it's like a... You're just making your mark. And the higher your energy is, the harder, the, the, the more that mark is going to, the more impact it's going to have, I'll say. So even in person, bro, we're not even talking, I'm not even talking through the phone. That's not even what made me want to start talking about this. In person, I win, I win these battles against people that are like older than me, bigger than me and shit, because when, especially when they see your eye, bro, when they see your eye and your eye, you have no fear in your eye, then they're, they're like, yeah, this 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 dude might be, you know, they might say whatever they want about you, but they know that you have no fear. And then once they see that you have no fear, it's like, what what can they really do, bro? What can they really do? Because that's that that's the thing that is keeping the people the the masses trapped is is mostly fear, bro. Fear and programming, but the programming is you know influenced by the fear, so you know. Once you once you start to relinquish fears about certain things, that's how you start making change. You know, once you start, that's how a change is made. You know, saying that I'm not scared to do this. You know, when people are starting, to, when uh, when Saluminati started, he, he's like, I'm not scared to speak the truth. He got on his whole gaming channel, changed, switched up for the whole world. Like, I'm not saying he switched up for them, but for the, in the world's eyes, bro, this dude took a whole you know, took a whole character turn and he never really, you know, and he inspired a bunch of other people such as myself to start getting on and making videos because I wanted to make videos for a little bit after, you know, I wakened, but I was like, nah, I wanted to hold off until a little while. But then after watching him, he inspired me to just get it going. Just say, fuck it. Why not start now and start helping? Why wait? You know? But that's the end of this video. Peace. See you on the next one. Stay up. Stay hydrated. 
get your son.